Okay, from indirect taxes to regulations. So we realise some of the negatives of indirect taxes and why they might, might not work on their own to solve market failures, especially when they're in native externalities and demerit goods. Well, maybe regulation is a better way to do it. Regulation is just simply governments prescribing rules and laws for firms and consumers to abide by. All right? So the way regulation works, it can work two ways. Either it raises the cost of production, it forces firms to act in certain ways, which might raise their cost of production, shift supplies to the left, or it might be a case that um, uh, maybe information is given out or rules are left now for consumers to abide by, which might reduce demand and shift demand to the left. Okay? But generally, it will be a raising the cost of production issue by supply will shift to the left. So what happens while well, the level of quantity will fall? Okay, the quantity produced will fall as the cost of production increase for a firm. In doing so, that brings the market closer to socially optimum levels. Okay, the actual quantity produced and consumed is closer to what society actually desires. So in that sense, that's good. Regulation also sets a clear standard. Okay, it's very simple to know what you can and can't do now. It sets a very clear standard with incentives for firms to comply. Okay, firms or even consumers, but mainly firms, to comply because if firms do not comply, there will be strict fines or heavy punishments in place. So there are big incentives to comply, otherwise they'll face fines or maybe prison sentences in the most severe circumstances. So that's, in that sense it's good, it's very obvious to know what firms have to do now. In that sense, maybe the market failure can be solved slightly easier, who knows. Uh, and also if there are negative externalities, uh, well now the externalities are forced to be considered by firms. Remember, the main issue with negative externalities is that they were just ignored, either by firms or by consumers. Well, if it was firms here, um, they were just simply ignoring them. They were caring only about their own self-interest. They weren't caring about the full social cost when they were producing. Well, now they're forced to be considered. Okay, so the increase in costs of production brings them, well, forces firms to actually now think about them uh, and bear the full cost as a result. But why is regulation a bad thing? <clears throat> Well, the enforcement costs can be very high, so as soon as you impose rules and laws, they need now to be policed, and to police them is very expensive. Okay? The government needs to bear that cost, and that can be very, very high. So there's potential here for government failure if the enforcement costs, if the admin costs of the policy are higher than the benefits that come about. At the same time, what is the optimum level of regulation? Okay? If you regulate too highly, too strict, then you might see a rise in black market activity, you might see firms leaving this country and moving elsewhere where regulation is lax. Okay? At the same time, if regulation is not high enough, you might not actually solve the market failure. So if you under-regulate, then you might not be doing anything, you just be wasting money in doing so. Okay? So that's also potentially a bad thing. Um, you've got another issue here that, well, what about the level of information that's out there? If the level of information the government has is limited, then actually getting to the optimum level of regulation is difficult, okay, and might not be done perfectly, and might not might not be done right. In which case, you can see more government failure issues coming in here. You also need to consider the costs versus the benefits, okay. That's what the effect depends on too. If the costs are actually higher than the benefits, potential government failure. The situation could be worse. Okay, so regulation is a very blunt policy. Um, simply, you know, do this. You know, follow what I say, otherwise you'll be in trouble. Uh, very much a law-making uh, kind of policy, away from market ideas. Okay, the government's just getting in and just doing things itself, really, and sorting out the market failure itself, um, disregarding whatever good the market can do in the first place. So that's uh, regulation for you. Quite simple. We'll look at uh, subsidies next. See you then.